hi guys welcome back to my channel and it's your girl come if it's your first time here you're welcome subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to get notified so i upload a new video and to my fellow subscribers you're welcome so in today's video i'm going to show you guys the best diy black soap shampoo to grow your hair longer thicker and my first ingredient is my soap and i'm using the lotion so right now i'm just breaking the soap into smaller pieces for it to be easy for me to melt and i'm just using my knife to just to grate it or cut it down you can use your grater if you want to in my other previous shampoos i'm making i used to use my grater but today i'm using my soap because i just want to make it now and very faster for me so i'm just cutting it and once i'm done cutting it i'm going to show you guys the next process in making my black soap shampoo so right now as i'm done with the last part of it i'm going to then bring my pot in this process the next step you just need to get a pot in making your teas with my ingredients i'm going to show you so my first ingredient is flaxseed flaxseed is going to make the shampoo super moisturizing it's going to make it super jelly and while washing your hair with this shampoo you're going to love how your hair feels you can actually run your hands through your hair because it's going to make your shampoo comes with sleep and this this flaxseed helps to grow your hair make your hair super shiny so the ingredients i'm going to be naming are good in helping to grow your hair and making your hair longer and thicker so my second ingredient is fenugreek seed fenugreek seed helps to grow hair helps to condition the hair so i'm just going to be using one and a half tablespoon i just wanted to finish the fenugreek seed i had and my flax seed i just used two tablespoons of my flax seed because I'm just, I'm just making a small batch at this moment so my third ingredient is going to be my rosemary, rosemary help rosemary help helps to stimulate the blood circulation of the scalp aiding to hair growth rosemary will grow your hair faster guys rosemary is good in growing hair so i'm just i just added one tablespoon of my rosemary hair and i'm using the dry rosemary but if you have the fresh one you can use the fresh one but here in my place you had to get the fresh one i don't even see i don't even know that i can see the fresh one so yeah, i'm used to using the dry rosemary hair so my fourth ingredient which is my going to be my last ingredient is going to be my clove clove is super super good in growing hair clove i have a bunch of video about clove using clove to grow my hair my channel and i love using clove in my lots of hair growth diys and it's super good for hair growth so i'm done adding my ingredients you can add more but these four ingredients the ingredients i choose to work with and that is what i love using my shampoo and i just love the feeling of me washing my hair having a moisturized hair using these ingredients to help to grow my hair to stimulate hair growth even as i'm washing my hair so I'm, i've mixed the four ingredients together and the next step is adding my oil water i'm adding water and this thing at this stage i'm just eyeballing the amount of water i'm adding because you just want to make a large a large quantity i just wanted to make small that's why i'm using one bar of soap and even though one bar of soap can make you a lot but i just wanted to make something small because i'm already running out of the one i had so i tried to add up to just make another batch for my hair so right now i'm mixing everything together to so everything to cooperate together i'm going to show you guys the next stage in my shampoo making process so i'm just going to boil this i did show you the process i boiled my my ingredients for 30 minutes on a low heat and this stage now i just took it down from the fire and the water is super hot and why i'm starting to strain it while the water is hot is that when the water gets cold the gel from the flaxseed is going to make it super jelly like the water i got from the flaxseed is going to make it super jelly and it's going to be a, a bit messy for me so i decided to strain it while it's a bit hot because once the water gets cold you still see the consistency that you get because you i boiled flaxseed and flaxseed tends to give you a jelly consistency when you boil it so right now and i'm just using the hot water in my advantage that i'm going to use it to melt my soap faster but if you don't want to strain your water when it's hot you can still melt your soap in a cold water or in a warm water so i'm just adding my soap that i grated and this is the reason i told you that grating your soap is going to be so easy for you to work with because it's going to melt it's going to melt quickly and with no stress 
so right now i'm just going to turn everything together for it to cooperate with each other so at this stage i'm just going to allow it to melt on its own i'm just going to take one to two hours and i stepped out for almost over three hours when i came back the soap was already melted completely and i took i, I believe the process was faster because i melted it in a hot water and it was just so easy for me to work with so at this stage now i've already strained my soap make sure that there's no particles in it i'm adding my hair growth oil one tablespoon and two tablespoons of coconut oil just to make sure that it's extra moisturizing not drying or anything even though it contains flaxseed guys just check the gel it's super jelly the consistency is so slimy which i love and i love the feeling i got when i was using my hair so moisturizing i was super cleansing and it lathered that so well thank you so much for watching this video like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video